people. So I got it working. Coming up on the end of it. So. That's it. camera down so I can uh, vacuum the dust off. Okay, so, yeah, as you can see I fixed the problem. Um, <coughs> you do have to flash the firmware, but the good news is you don't have to use a CNC controller. So, basically, what I did is I changed uh, Travel Living's After Homing. Um, the reason it wasn't working uh, was because it was uh, I had the Travel Living's After Homing on the Y set to 12. So, where is it? Give me a second. I'm looking for the other piece. Okay, so here they are. So basically, once I looked in the firmware and I saw that I measured from the middle to here and it was 12. And then I looked in the firmware and the travel limits after homing on the Y was at negative 12. So right there I knew that's what I need to fix. So, because <coughs> I uh, gave G code to a friend to test, and uh, he said it worked fine. So, yeah, that's what it was. So you need to change the travel limits um, after homing, uh, and then also uh, I remember telling you guys I had the problem not being able to get into um, negative values. Same thing. You just go into uh, travel limits after homing, and. Uh, I made mine minus negative 20. Um, that means you'd be able to go, you know, down 20 millimeters, which is extra. Most cutters aren't, you know, you're not going to cut down 20 millimeters with this kind of setup. But um, yeah, shows you it works. Um, and then, so you don't need a CNC controller now. Um, basically, when you uh, get to the point you need to. What I found was uh, oh shit. Um, you guys look right now. Say that's where you wanted to zero everything out. Right? Just hit the reset button. Reset button and then bam. You're at zero. So yeah, um, basically if uh, you just move from, I don't know, uh, I know stock firmware has, allows you to move around, but basically just to move the left and right, you could just disable the stepping, but for the Z, I would just go to move axis one at a time just to get close enough. Normally, guys, you can't even go past, uh, I don't want to mess up my cutter, but I do one. I can't go into the negative. So I could go down negative 20 now. So, yeah, basically you would just get to the height of your material, reset, reset it, or wherever you're, if you're, I started mine from the middle, but say you start from right here. You would just get it to the corner of the material right here, hit the reset button, and then you're good to go. So, um, yeah, it's working. I knew it was working from the start. Just, you know, I knew there had to be something wrong, but uh, I should have went into the firmware earlier. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So now, you're definitely going to have to reflash back. Maybe not. I'm not sure. 100% sure yet. 
Um, let me show you guys. The travel limits, I still changed it to minus 20. look now it'll home correctly but it thinks it's at minus 20 now so I'm sure at this point if you didn't want it to reflash firmware you could just hit the reset button to get back to zero and then start your print to say that you know you want to start 3d printing again so but uh, yeah it's pretty cool man you don't need a CNC controller I think that's the, the coolest part about this and um, I'm not a big fan of flashing firmware, but it really only takes uh, like three minutes on my computer. And uh, that's only changing two values, three values. So, travel limits after homing, you change your Y to uh, however big your piece is going to be. Maybe this was 40 millimeter piece, so I changed the travel limits after homing to 20. But you get the point, you can make it a lot bigger. And then same thing for the Z. If you use, you know, using G code with negative Z values, you have to lower the Z travel limits. So, yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, I can get, you know, maybe do a better video or more detail about it, but I don't have enough time right now. But um, you guys see that it works. And uh, let me disable the stepper. setup look there's a lot of uh well, it's actually not that bad but the fact that this moves at all is not definitely not good for cnc but right here i only cut down about a millimeter into the y <coughs> so yeah if you're gonna do this don't definitely don't try to cut past down more than a millimeter okay cnc is basically the same thing as 3d printing so you can do what they call a step down I did this with a fine cutter, like a needle, the end of that. So every step, my step over was 0.1. So basically similar to layer heights, but instead of layer height, it was cutting from you know the middle out 0.1 millimeter at a time. So if you're going to use a like an end mill to clear surface area. I would be even to be safe, maybe even just cut down like half a millimeter at a time. So, if you if you haven't reinforced everything, <coughs> excuse me. I'd maybe put. Um, I definitely got to stabilize this now. But yeah, pretty cool. And any any three D printer that you can change that value. I don't. I'm sure every printer has that value in it. Find uh, travel limits after homing, and you could do this to any 3D printer. So, yeah, hope this helps out, guys. Thanks.